Bum 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 bum. Jesus. Sup, and welcome back to another episode of Average Joe Reviews. Thank you for joining me today. As always, please hit that like button, subscribe, share this video if you find it funny, comment down below if you do want me to review anything in particular. If you don't like what I'm reviewing, leave a comment down below so I know what to review, okay? I want views, I want you to be happy, so leave a comment down below if you want me to review something in particular. <sighs> okay. What are we reviewing today, you ask? Well, paper towel, okay? Why is it called paper towel? I, I don't know, I didn't invent it, so ask the people who invented it. Don't ask me these tough questions, okay? Uh, paper towel. So most of us know that, okay, yeah, very basic. Yeah, okay, we already know that. Let's see if it works on water. Let's see how absorbent it is. They call it a towel. Why don't they call it a napkin? I think they don't call it a napkin because it's more absorbent than a napkin. It's more similar to a towel. So let's see how absorbent it really is. Oh yeah, you can see that absorbing nicely. Oh yeah. Yep, not as absorbent as a ShamWow, um, but I'm poor, I can't afford a ShamWow. So I have, you know, I have these single ply paper towels, but they do a pretty good job, not gonna lie. They, uh, they do a pretty good job, I'm, I'm happy with that. Um, they're happy with that. Now, before this episode, uh, before filming, I actually s wanted to see how effective they are in replacing toilet paper. Don't use it as toilet paper. You're going to clog your toilet, okay? And if you don't have a plunger, it's going to be a brown, stinky mess. Do not use this in uh, as a replacement for toilet paper. If you run out of toilet paper, you either need to hold your butt cheeks together and shimmy across your home to get another uh, to get another roll, or just hop in the shower and just like a big bidet, just clean that sucker out, just clean that crack right out. Don't use this as toilet paper, please. You're gonna wreak havoc on your plumbing. Okay. Uh, one thing though that this is good at. So I am terrible at talking to women and I get super nervous whenever I have to talk to the lady folk. So beforehand, if I know that I'm gonna talk to a girl or if I have a date or something like that, I will load up on these and I'll shove them up under my arms so I don't get those pit stains. Nobody wants pit stains, that's so unattractive. So I shove them up there. Oh yeah, they're already absorbing. Whoo yeah. Now the only downside though is that I can't lift my arms up or else they'll fall. So now that I think about it, this is probably why I'm single because every time I go on a date, I'm like, hey, how are you? Nice to meet you there. Oh, you want a hug? Okay. Uh, there you go. Okay, have a good night, bye. Um, I haven't figured out a way to keep them up there. Um, so it's, I need to, I need to figure that out. Um, but they, uh, uh, they, they do work. They definitely work. Um, so if you are nervous like me, uh, these do work, but just remember you can't lift your arms basically above your stomach. Um, so definitely if you have a first date, don't go rock climbing or don't play volleyball or don't go on a roller coaster where you have to have your hands up like this because you're only going to have be able to keep them up like this high and you're going to look like a little T-Rex or something. Um, so you might have to find uh, another another way to, to keep those pit stains uh, from getting out of control if you don't want to use this. But uh, that's what I use. I guess it works okay for me. I guess. It's all relative. I'm still single and I'm 32 years old, so that's kind of pathetic. But uh, I digress. Um, so I guess this does have decent uses. 
if applied effectively. Um, uh, some, some things it can be good for, other things not so effective. Uh, so again, I, I always employ you to do this research on your own, see if it works out for you. If it does, great. If it doesn't, well, now you know. I think that concludes another episode of Average Joe Reviews. Kobe. And I'll see you on the next episode.